you know, we've always been there. We've always been part of America. And so, uh, you know, we, we just, we can't forget that, you know, we can't forget where our families came from, you know, our love for the motherland, for Mexico, and, and us being Americans also, you know, being Chicanos, that's who we are. This is important to me personally because my great grandmother and her and her brothers were all pachucos and pachucas in the 40s. It shows that we're just all united, regardless of where we come from in the city. There's no us, me, me. It's we're a community. I, my dad threw me in the back of his 51 Chevy, and he had old cars. It's cruising is part of our culture. It's it's as much as our dress is, is our cars are dressed too. It's all the same to us. I brought my 49 Chevy, I'm here to roll. To me, the Zutsu represents a stylization which came from, you know, the early 30s. You know, not just that, it's the cultural, you know, icon of what one thinks about the 40s. But to me, personally, it's the struggle as an immigrant coming from Mexico to the, U to the United States and for those who suffered here as well, you know, and not only that, but people say, oh, well, this is something to wear, you know, on an occasion, but it's not a costume and it's not a day, you know, it's not, it's not a uniform one could wear, you know, for occasions that are not representative, you know. It's our ancestors, a representation of our struggle, our ancestors. And not just that, it's also how we represent it, how we use it, the colors, the feathers, the style, the hat, you know, the originality of it, the nostalgia of what gives us the gift of remembering our past loved ones and who we miss every day. When I think, when I say the Zutsu riot, it's a struggle. And it makes me think, it wasn't just Chicanos. They were the children of Chicanos. They were the children of Chicanos that were attacked. The people were being attacked. What speaks to me is, is me seeing the smiles of the people, saying hi to people, commuting with people, it, that there's so much variety that one could bring from a certain culture to this culture, and then expanding it into the youths, you know? And it's a big blessing, and to me, honestly, it's a more of a blessing to share that and it still being alive today. It's important to remember what happened because our history was a schmear for our culture. Um, we are not going to be erased, so therefore our history should not be erased, nor should it be ignored or hidden. Um, we need for our culture to remember that we've gone through adversities for years and years and years, and we are resilient. We are resilient people, but we're here and uh, we're not going anywhere. Proud to be Latino, proud to be Chicano, first and foremost. You know, we, we commemorate that because a lot of them were arrested, whereas no sailors or, or servicemen were arrested for, for beating up young Chicanos because of the way they dressed or the color of their skin. So uh, 
you know, we represent that. We, we, we're bringing attention to that. Um, we're proud of it. We're proud of the fact that we are who we are. We are Americans of Mexican descent. We're Mexican Americans. We're Chicanos first and foremost. They always say that the conqueror writes the history. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but now, you know, we're waking up. We're, we're seeing that, you know, we, we as Americans, we have those same rights as, as everybody else, whether they're Africano, whether they're Latino, whether they're Asian, whether they're, you know, Gavachos, whatever. You know, this, this is for all of us. This is a melting pot of America, especially here in L.A., you know, our history goes way back. So, you know, we take pride in that, we take pride in that.